Hey guys, Anna Banana here with another training talk. I'm here with my dad, yeah. And today I wanted to talk all about back wiggle tam, spit up cycles, and those things coming out from your body, the top part. Here, help me out, dad, yeah. Yeah, these things right here. Those things coming out of your, your body. I'm actually going to go through this all on my play mat here at home. But feel free to follow along on your favorite playmat there at your home or just your favorite blankie. You can also do this on the bed or just on the floor or with your parents in their lap or their arms. Okay, so let's go ahead and move to the playmat. I'll see you guys there. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are, yes. And now this is really important. Before you get on the playmat, you want to make sure you have a full belly of milk and a nice dry diaper, yes. Or you could end up getting too fussy too quick. This workout should make you fussy eventually, but not too quick, no. Not too quick, yeah. You want to make sure you start with a nice warm-up of maybe looking around the room or it's something colorful so your heart rate doesn't go up about about above 160. The whole time, you want to make sure your heart rate stays between the normal infant level of 160 down all, and it can go down to 80. Tums per minute. Now, once you feel ready, you can give a nice little spit up. Uh, this spit up should land on your neck or your shoulder, or just it could spill down to the floor. Either way, uh, you should be able to get yourself really, really wet with it. Okay, now it's wiggle time. See? Start by just doing your thing. Yeah, those things coming out of your body should start wiggling too. Those things are probably part of you. And when you think you want to wiggle, y'all, yeah. You see what happens? I'm getting a little fussy now. Yeah, I, I gotta take a little break. All right, just give me a second, guys. Okay, we're back. I should have taken my own advice and I should have mentioned also, at any, at any time, if you need a passy wassy, that'll help you a whole lot. Yeah. So let's just get right back to it. Once you start wiggling, those things coming out of your body will wiggle too. Now feel free to cool or smile if you want to. You can do this with your mommy and your dad, dad yeah, looking down at you. Or you can you can do it if they just want to be looking at something else too. But if you're like me, you'll want mommy and dad dad's yeah, eyes facing you because because you like it when they do that. They got good faces, don't they? Yeah, your parents got good faces. Now, once you get into a good wiggle groove, you should be able to sustain this for about five to 10 min minutes before you get too fussy. Or in, in other terms, that would be for two more spit ups. All right. And then once you feel fussy enough, you can just tell mommy or dad, yeah, however you prefer to tell them. I like to give a good cry like this. Yeah. But you could also yell or coo or fuss or whatever. All right, guys. Well, now that's it for me. I'm going to head on back to my dad dad's lap now and finish this off. But that's the workout, basically. Bye. Oh, boy, that's better. I'm all done. I'm here and relaxed back in my dad dad's lap right where I belong. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this training talk. And it, it helps you out with your little baby development. One thing I should mention is uh, it's really important for any baby exercise just to have a nice cool down, which could include five minutes of mommy or dad, yeah, Tim, a uh, diaper change, or just a nice nursing session. Yes. <laughs> it, it's also really helpful to get a nice nap in after almost everything you do in the day to really let those baby muscles rest and, and to help your, your heady witty. Yes. <laughs> but please feel free to comment below. And look forward to more baby training talks. Bye-bye. <laughs> I love y'all.